Senator John Cornyn has voted time and time again against Ted Cruz. I, I mean, Obamacare. He brings rhino logic to all the coolest Democrat cocktail parties. Writing secret love letters to MSNBC hosts, he's got Chris Matthews on speed dial. Matt Schaub is his favorite QB. Gary Kubiak is never wrong. Senator Cornyn got an A from all of Wendy Davis's interns. Americans for Socialism gave him a 100% rating. The National Journal named him the second most conservative senator in America, right after fellow rhino John McCain. Hi, this is John Cornyn. It's an important time to have backdoor meetings with Democrat lobbyists and sell out the upcoming GOP senators like Ted Cruz. In Texas, my constituents think I'm a Tea Party Republican. Ha! That's hilarious. Government isn't big enough, and with your help, I'd like to make it bigger. Senator John Cornyn, a rhino, like you, like California, I, I mean Texas. I'm John Cornyn, and I sit down when I pee because I don't want to get any on the seat. John Wayne McCornin is totes one of us. He loves How I Met Your Mother and New Girl. He's constantly got one earbud in and is constantly listening to like Arctic Monkeys or Arcade Fire or like Kanye. John Wayne McCornin watched the Grammys and tweeted his face off and he was like hilarious. He was all, there was an old lady that lived in Farrell's hat. So funny. John Wayne McCornin drives a Chevy Volt, because I don't know, it's American, but environmentally not hateful, you know? He gets it. You know what I mean? I know you think Republicans are all stodgy and old or whatevs, but JWM is so far from that. He's completely cool. He may not twerk, but that was 2013 anyway, so no one does. So he's basically ahead of the curveball, you know? When you vote in November, vote for John Wayne McCornin. He's totally one of us. For real. He's more than one of us. He's like two of us. Maybe three. John Wayne McCornin misses his Blackberry. Because it had a bigger keyboard and you could use both thumbs. And it had a trackball. He remembers tube socks fondly and occasionally wears them around the house. The ones with two red stripes and inch from the top that always fell down. John Wayne McCornin doesn't tip when he orders at the counter and finds it off-putting that there's even a line to tip because they didn't do anything but take his order, just like you. He don't watch movies with subtitles, but he does appreciate when Swamp People is subtitled. John orders a salad at Luby's because he's supposed to, but he doesn't need it. He focuses on his Luann platter and ponders how that codfish could be square. John Wayne McCornin is appalled by what he sees while waiting in line at the DPS office for his license renewal and whispers into his cell phone to his friends about how creepy and smelly the foreigners are. Voting for John Wayne McCornin is like getting a lifeline on who wants to be a millionaire. It's like voting for yourself, but with benefits. Voting for John Wayne McCornin is just like voting for a Republican, but you still get all the free Democrats get. John Wayne McCornin, just like us, just like you, just like himself. John Wayne McCornin is one of us. His keychain has numerous loyalty cards, including Kroger's, CVS, Specs, El Habla Espanol con un acento que es muy americano, y aún más condescendiente. He loves his guns so much it borders on unnatural. He names them. A Winchester 30 out 6 called Tex. A Browning 9 mil goes by Mac. A Glock named Demetrius. And his pride and joy, Perlene. A Colt single action 38. He was given an A plus by the NRA. It was written in red on the top right of the paper and circled. There was a little smiley face in the words, great job. He also got a 91 from the Faith and Freedom Coalition, but he's working real hard to get that grade up. You can take John Wayne McCornin out of Texas, but you can't take Texas out of John Wayne McCornin. It's in his blood. East Texas red dirt runs through his veins. When you vote at the 2014 midterm elections, and if you love America, you'll pull the lever that says John Wayne McCornin. He's one of us.